Yeah, um, probably the weather. Um, you know, you can't really simulate this type of a heat uh, up in Ohio. So obviously, I've been training and stuff, but coming down, um, definitely something to get used to, especially with the pads on. Now, Coach Smith has done a phenomenal job this summer, this off season, getting us prepared. So felt ready to go, but you know, obviously different. But um, in terms of you know an offensive feel. Uh, adjusting to the different curriculum um, of camp, the different plays, um, but it's been a it's been a good transition. I think that uh, my teammates have helped me a great deal with that. The coaches have been excellent and um, enjoying it so far. Jim, you, you're exceptionally bright guy. Congratulations to you. To, uh, I think probably smarter than myself and anybody else in the park. You have to show off. Speak for yourself. Well, well certainly for my sons. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think that it's just a deal where, you know, as much as you can, you're trying to learn. You're trying to um, visualize, you know, watch film, draw things out. And it's something that as I get more reps with it in the system, it's helping. Um, you know, it's not quite the same to be on the field than it is to, you know, be in the film room watching it on, on you know, the big screen. So um, I think it's just a little improvement uh, every day and just kind of doing as much as you can to um, get experience with it, get it down to the point where it's second nature, and be able to execute it successfully on the field. Do you feel you are behind the field in, in the men's line? Uh, I think Christian's been here for a long time, and so he obviously has um, the experience with the offense. And for me, it's just something where I just got to keep getting the reps. And um, he's been a help to me for sure, being able to you know point out particular looks that may be confusing at first and uh, how to handle those and stuff. So um, I think just for me, just trying to, you know, Keep getting the reps with it. Keep getting better every day is probably the biggest thing that I got to do. Yeah, um, a lot of things. Um, you know, I was looking for a place with um, a culture that was in, and I think that you know when Coach Davis came in, there obviously was that in place. Um, you know, the offense in terms of um, you know Coach Kraski has been in the business forever, and uh, the way that he approaches the offense in terms of reads, in terms of breaking out defenses. I think I think he does a great job. Um, so yeah, I think the biggest thing was the culture, the coaches, and then the players. The players have been awesome, and just going down here in my official, and uh, I took a visit in spring too, and being able to, you know, be with them. The transition's been great for me, and they've all been very welcoming, and um, you know, excited to go to work with them. Oh, for sure. I mean, coaches stress that um, a bunch to be leaders. And I think that um, for me, it's it's a thing where I need to, to earn that respect to be able to lead and then just kind of follow in the examples of some of the great leaders who are here already. You know, they kind of, you know, like I said, it's a culture feel. And the culture is, is one part of the coaches, but another part of the players, you know, and the players installing and the other players. You know, it's it's not something where the coaches can just be on the players all the time. There has to be leaders within the program. And this whole summer, you know, those leaders have been pushing us, you know, striving for us to get better, doing as much as we can. And so for me coming in, it's, it's been great to have that culture in place and just trying to, for myself, earn that respect to be able to do some of those things. What, what is it like to come into a new program and, uh, you know, you're a quarterback? I mean, quarterback's yeah. most difficult guy. What, what is that like? Uh, I mean, so far, so good. Honestly, it's, uh, like I said, these, these guys have been extremely welcoming and, um, you know, it's it's interesting because it's it's definitely a new process, but it's kind of like I've been through, you know, the start of college. You know, the start of college football came in as a freshman, didn't really know what to do. Uh, now with this, I kind of have a feel for it, and so I can approach it a lot differently. And some of the things that, you know, maybe I made a mistake when I was a freshman, I can kind of adjust that and uh, be able to come in here with that. So I think that the players have been extremely welcoming, and that's probably made it pretty easy to transition. When you talk about your, your game, because we haven't seen you play, yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like I can make um, I can make a lot of the throws on the field. Uh, I feel pretty confident in my arm. I think the biggest thing that I pride myself in is uh, being prepared to go. You know, watching film, understanding the defense, being able to put us in a good situation, um, and that's that's kind of what I want to. You know, that, like I said, that's what I want to pride myself in is being prepared. Um, I feel like I can make those throws and going on executing. 
Uh, so what I ran in Bowling Green was more of like an air raid, um, kind of a spread the field out, and we had a lot of different plays that attacked a lot of different areas. I'd say with uh, this offense, it's more of like a pro-style system. Um, you have an element of the quarterback controlling the blocking, which I hadn't done quite as much at the previous program. And so um, what I really like about it is that, you know, on the field, I feel very in control. You know, I feel like I'm able to understand, okay, here are, you know, my blockers, this is what I'm doing, and um, it, it helps. I really think it helps. Wearing uh, number 12, how many guys were already that? <laughs> well, I, I don't think anyone's comparing me to Alex, and that's, that's the biggest thing coming in, you know, like what he's done for this program obviously is phenomenal, and so I'm not trying to, you know, live up to that shadow. He's, he's done his, I mean, that's just, and, and honestly, watching him from last year and the things that he did, um, just some incredible throws, some incredible you know, reads. And being able to learn from that, um, for me, has really helped. Being able to watch someone who's done it and done it so well, you know, just try to mimic some of those things with my game. Uh, so far, no. No one's really confused me with it. Maybe it's the mustache. I don't know. Have you watched all the game tape or have you seen the game last week? I did, yeah. yeah. What did you come away with? Uh, 12 is a really good player. <laughs> Um, no, I think uh, just kind of watching it for me was just um, seeing like how he handled the reads, you know, how he went through um, some of the decisions that he made, and then trying to you know replicate that when I practiced, when I went through film. Okay, this is what Alex did. This is what I'm trying to do. Okay, let's keep working on that. This, you know, all that type of stuff. Yeah, I mean, I've seen every game from last year multiple times. Um, tried to watch all the spring practices, uh, and then Coach Grosky has a lot. You know, he's got the vault. You know, he's been coaching for 30 years, with watching Ball State stuff or watching stuff when he was at Elon. So um, it all kind of goes into it. Like I said, I think the the biggest thing for a quarterback is just getting it down second nature, right? Like coming in, you need to be able to execute the stuff at a fast pace, and some of those like confusing looks or coverages, you're gonna have to decipher quickly on the field. And so for me, it's just. The repetition with the film is just to build it, you know, the mental synapses to be able to uh, do that second nature when I'm out there. And I think also you probably have a good, from watching all that film, you probably have a good sense of the guys and the playmakers who can do what, mm -hmm. where, where to get the ball to them. Is that oh, for sure. I think we got some, some really good playmakers on offense. Came into a really good situation. Uh, and that's definitely one of the things, I know you said before, what I was looking for, to look for in the program. And that's one of the things, too, is coming in. We have a, a lot of playmakers on offense, and I'm excited to see what they can do this year. Oh, yeah, it's a little different. You know, the humidity is uh, amped up just a little bit. But, uh, no, I love this area. This is great. Um, campus is awesome. Uh, it's very different for me because I come from up north, and so I'm sure in the winter that's going to be something that I'm going to look forward to. Uh, but, yeah, so far it's been, been really good. Oh, I mean, it was... <laughs> It was great. It was a big deal. I just uh, the experience that he'd had, that he's had, um, and then once I'm here, the the leadership that he displays and the meetings and you know just encounters. It's it's been awesome, and I'm I'm very blessed to be in a program with him at the head, and um, just a great opportunity. Can you name a couple of the playmakers that have impressed you in terms of your, your running backs this season? Yeah, I think the running backs are having a great camp. Um, you know, it was pretty apparent from um, just being in the summer and working with them how much talent we have with that group. Uh, but then I think the offense as a whole <clears throat> is really, you know, uh, the line is very experienced. They're blocking really well. Um, the receivers, obviously, this is year two in the system. And so um, coming in for me, that was a big help. Like they have like the little details down this year that maybe last year was kind of like still learning. Now they kind of got that down and we're really getting into, getting into that. And so as a quarterback, um, when you have receivers on the field who are able to, you know, see some of the same things that you do, it's a huge help. Um, and so that's been, that's been great. I have, uh, okay, I wore uh, four up until eighth grade, and then about the same time that Brett Favre uh, moved on, that's when I switched to 12, so. So you got lucky, man. Well, blessed because the 12th was available. Yeah, right, right, exactly. Cool. All right, thanks, guys.